At this time, I'm going to ask you to fasten your seatbelts. Welcome back to Views from the East. Before I get into today's topics, um, just really quick, just want the entire audience to know that we post on both uh, YouTube and all audio platforms. So for the people that's on the audio platform, sometimes we be we may be talking about things or describing things that we're showing visually. And sometimes I get that you might, you know, not understand what we're talking about or get lost in the situation, but it's probably because we're showing something visually, whether it's a video, a photo, it could be one of our facial expressions and things like that. So, um, you know, just to kind of clear that confusion. Um, however, I also wanted to just quickly give you guys a, a big thank you. Um, we got about maybe eight more subscribers within the last month on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys. Um, it's fantastic. I'm happy that, I, that uh, you know, that we're all providing you guys content um, that you're enjoying. Uh, same thing for the audio platforms. Um, I believe we got uh, 255 downloads in the last 28 days across the U.S. and a few other countries there. So, again, appreciate it. Everything matters. Um, and again, for those on the audio, uh, you know, subscribe, you know, uh, you know, follow us. Um, on YouTube again, you know, hit that subscribe and that like everything really helps um, So now that we got all of that out of the way uh, To get into today's topic um, uh, You know and It's crazy enough that it's a year later and we're still talking about COVID but actually it's been a little bit more than a year uh, but COVID uh, <clears throat> Obviously as we all know vaccinations have been released uh, but now we're dealing with uh, a variant of the of the infection. So with that being said, you know, obviously there was a time where you have to put on your mask, you know, all the time, no matter where you are. And then now we got these vaccinations and it's sort of like, hey, now that you have your vaccination, you don't have to wear your mask. Take them off. You don't need to wear them into businesses and to, you know, uh, closed spaces whatever that looked like uh, for a certain period of time. But now that the variant, you know, is here, now the states in different places are asking that these the protocols be put back into place to where you do need to wear a mask when entering businesses and things of that nature. Um, just because, you know, once they took away the masking, um, the cases started going back up, you know, even close to numbers of when it started. Um, if I'm not mistaken, but the numbers definitely went back up tremendously, uh, which is why we now have a variant. So <clears throat> my point to all of this and what I really wanted to talk about is that should have been the lesson learned, right? Because people are very irresponsible. Like, you know, just because they said take your mask off if you've taken a vaccination, if you know you're not vaccinated, don't take your mask off. Um, there, were, I, there was a ton of people that was just, you know, strolling around without their mask saying, yeah, I'm vaccinated, I'm vaccinated. But, you know, you're not. It was just, you know, hey, I get to I can use this excuse to walk walk around without a mask. Now, I know, you know, you're not required to have any proof that you took the vaccination, nor can anyone ask you. However, I think it, I, it needs to get to that point because um, now that that wasn't in place, now look at us now we're going backwards so now it's back to wearing the mask regardless um if you're vaccinated because the vaccination doesn't protect you from getting it it just helps you deal with it better um so i just wanted to really make that clear for some people but it's like <clears throat> people are just irresponsible so now we're in this variant uh we, we have a variant of it now and it's crazy, you know, I'll be in the workplace and, you know, uh, my team and I will say, hey, you know, um, you know, uh, we require that you wear a mask and we say it politely, you know, all respect, you know, respectfully. There's no attitude, no rudeness. And it. it's just, you know, hey, you know, um, <clears throat> the state has changed some policies. The company's policies has changes where they're now requiring everyone to wear a mask. Should you not have a mask? We have masks here that we can provide you with. So it's not like we're throwing people out and saying, hey, you don't have a mask, you got to leave. We're providing masks so you can continue to do what you're doing. Um, and just a lot of people just get offended by that. Oh, I, I, I'm vaccinated. You know, uh, why do I have to wear a mask? Oh, did they go back to doing that? 
you know, listen, <clears throat> listen, we're not asking you to do anything that is really difficult. I hate pe difficult people that just make it seem like what you're requesting is like the hardest thing in the world. In order to be in the same space with us, we require that you wear a mask. It's nothing personal against you. It's not that we don't like you. We don't respect you. It's just company policy. It is just the law. Just put on a mask. Let's do whatever business that we have. Once you leave, you can take the mask off and do whatever you want. Like, I don't get why that's a big issue. Oh, well, you know, I'm vaccinated. I don't have to wear it. Yes, you're absolutely right. There was a time where they said you were when if you're vaccinated, you no longer need to wear the mask. Yes, that is true. It is. But now things have changed. And if I'm telling you things have changed, if you don't believe me, you can go research it, do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you, hey, things have changed. I'm not asking you to put on a mask because I'm bored. I have on my own mask, you know, whatever. I'll keep my six feet. But this is this is the laws have changed again because the numbers went back up because we can't trust irresponsible adults to do the right thing. The other thing that kills me about all of this, this has been killing me since the beginning of the pandemic. And you guys, you probably could relate to me on this one. You ever go to the supermarket, a mall, wherever, and you have your kids with you, right? Or not you specifically, but you see people with their kids. And then you look at the mom, you look at the dad, they got their mask on. And then you look at their kids, and I'm talking about like little kids, two, three, four, five years old, whatever, it doesn't matter. No mask. I'm, I'm sorry, are kids immune to COVID-19? And, and Did I miss a memo? I'm a parent. So for me, I, t I take a lot of things as a parent. I, I take parenting very seriously, right? no parent is perfect we all learn every day we grow every day but <clears throat> there is a global pandemic going on you're going out with your child to a public space you've already you already understand that you yourself need to protect yourself you have to wear a mask your wife understands that your husband understands that your boyfriend your girlfriend whatever you put your mask on and then you look at your child and you say, oh, you're fine. Could could we start putting masks on our kids? Like, I'm sorry, like kids have died from this. Kids have gotten sick from this. So why are we not what you think? Because their kids, their immune system. Yes, I get it. Their immune system is, is 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 pumping. It's young. It's strong. But come on. Like for me, that just rubs me the wrong way. I kind of look at you as a parent to parent. I'm like, yo, yeah, you're terrible. Like, how can you physically know there's something like I said, physically, you literally know that there's a pandemic outside. You yourself are protecting yourself. And then you look at your child and say, ah, you don't need a mask. You can walk around. With Why do you think they have masks in kid sizes? Why do you think they make smaller masks? You think they is just an accessory? It's not optional. Uh, you value your own life, but you don't value your kid's life. That that's how I that's how I process it. And a parent in my head is supposed to live for that child, protect that child, die for that child if need be necessary. So please, it, it's terrible. Get 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 it together. Put mask on your kids. It's the most frustrating thing I've ever seen in my life. Like you let your kids run around parading with no mask on. Like I'll be in the mall and like I'll see parents watch their kids like fall on the floor, put their hands on the floor, lift them back up. They don't sanitize their hands or nothing. Their kids will put their face on the glass. They're kids. They don't they don't know anything. This is why we're the parents. We need to monitor and keep them safe. So please, could we stop that? Could be i mean this this and look <clears throat> i don't say nothing to some parents because some parents are very defensive but you will get a look from me like if you look at me and i happen to be seeing the situation that you're in and your kid doesn't have a mask i'm gonna stare at you in a way where it's like mm, what are you what are you doing it doesn't make sense 
I'm inviting you to ask me why I'm looking at you like that. And if you do, then I'll be more than happy to let you know. But let's let's protect our kids. It's it's a selfish act. But anyway, um, those are just my like two things with the COVID situation. Let's not make it a big deal. Let's protect ourselves. Listen, hundreds of thousands of people have died. Like this is not a joke. It's not a game to be taken lightly. Just put on a mask. I understand that you're vaccinated, but things have changed. If someone is asking you to put on a mask, just put it on. It's it's nothing against you. And again, protect our kids. Very important. Protect the kids. Your kids should have a mask on before you do. Let's not forget that. Again, if you guys have any comments, please leave them below. Again, please hit the like, the subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you're notified. Um, we're going to keep putting out content. Um, I want to say every three days. Um, so we have a lot of content already in the pipelines um, and, you know, we'll schedule them for an advance. But <clears throat> again, guys, want to uh, please give us your feedback. You know, um, I want to get better and better with my craft. Um, I try to get better, um, but feedback from you guys can help me get there much faster. Um, again, appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you next week.